with schools out because of the coronavirus outbreak, some students in bad situations at home are not getting the care that they need. Tori Mason talked with the Department of Human Services, which says it is so important that we all do our part. The Department of Human Services received half as many calls last week as they did in early March. But that doesn't mean there's less abuse. Who will take care of them? Who will see them? There are just fewer people to report it. Last month, 40% of the calls into the hotline system were from educators and school staff and child care workers. Those mandatory reporters won't see these kids for weeks. Sheltering in place keeps us safe from the virus. But what about the children facing bigger dangers at home? Family stress and, and the challenges brought on by parenting kids full time and having to work at home at the same time, all of those things, along with the financial insecurity that may be occurring in families right now, sort of all those things collide, it could create unsafe situations for kids. Caseworkers are essential personnel, so they're still able to check on families. But right now, DHS says keeping kids safe is a community effort. Keep an eye out for the kids in their neighborhood. Keep an eye out for the kids in your family. You don't have to be closer than six feet to feel that something is off. If you think a family needs support, don't hesitate to call. It's always better to be safe than sorry. A call to the hotline does not mean that there's going to be a removal of a child. It really truly can mean that a family is connected to the resources that they need. I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First. To report possible child abuse, call 1-844-CO-KIDS. That information is also on our website at cbsdenver.com. Well, you can make protective